Welcome to Marie's Country Life. Today I am going to show you how I planted my garlic and onion. So I have here some garlic. These garlic are from my garden from last year's crop. Well, we planted last year in fall and we harvested in summer. So, but some of these are actually from my in-laws. So most of these garlic, they have several varieties. So, and these onions, I have the, I have the purple kind and I have the orange kind, which is just a typical. These are the seeds, okay? Onion seeds, they're small, of course, as you see. You can buy this online or you can buy at a co-op or at a garden center or any garden <laughs> stores. And these are yellow, oh no, white onions. So I'm going to plant these. Now is the time because it's time for planting garlic and onion, especially here in Tennessee. Oh well, it depends on where you're at in the USA. And some winter or some summer months are shorter. Here in Tennessee, we typically plant garlic and onion around end of September or October. Okay, that will give time for the garlic and onion to, to germinate or to sprout and actually establish leaves before winter season. And then you're gonna harvest these garlic and onions sometime in summer when they're ready. You, can, you will know. Uh, okay, that's it. So for onions, you just plant the bulbs about four to five inches apart. These are the seed of onions. They're the grown ones, but if you plant from really seeds, the tiny, tiny seeds, here, this, this is loaded with tiny onion seeds. It will take a while for you to, to start an onion ready for planting. So it's best if you know of a farm or a store that sells onion seeds, this, it's better. So, In preparing the garden bed, make sure that you cultivate the soil properly and that the soil is loose and moist. And if you must add amendments, compost or anything that's biodegradable, it will add nutrients to the soil because onions and garlic, they do thrive and they do better when the soil is well fertilized. You can also add worm castings. When I plant onions, I just make several furrows or narrow rows to bury the onion seeds. You can also use garden twines to make, make your lines straight or you can just make imaginary lines. <laughs> Anyway, when I plant onions, I don't bury them very deep. Only about two to three inches into the soil. I've learned that it's better to leave the tip of the onions exposed near the surface of the ground for a quicker sprouting or germination. The same thing I do with garlic. I leave about you know, a fourth of the tip, or maybe the tip, as long as the tip is closer to the ground or exposed. And as long as the soil is fertile and the soil is loose, the onions or the uh, garlic will just produce and will thrive and they will produce big bulbs. I plant the onions about five to six inches apart. And of course, make sure that there is enough room for the onion bulbs to develop. Then after planting the bulbs, just cover the onions with soil and water them. In about two weeks, a week or so, uh, leaves will show or start to grow and harvest time usually depends on the readiness and the length of growing season. In colder climate with freezing temperature, you'll have to put mulch or it's better to put mulch on the onion bed to cover the soil to help protect the base of the onion plants. And if you don't have uh, winter season, it's just whenever the plant's ready or the onion's ready. Summertime is the harvest season for onions when the leaves start to turn brown. And there's only a few leaves left on the stalk. The same with garlic. 
For planting garlic, you separate the cloves individually. And this is what you plant in a bulb. For a bigger bulb, you probably have eight, nine cloves. And what you plant is this. And this is where the roots are going to come out. And this is where the leaves are going to be. So what I like to do is when I plant garlic, I plant the clove and I plant it near the surface and I don't bury the cloves deep with soil because it's better for the garlic to feel the heat of the sun. It, it germinates or it sprouts quicker if you plant the garlic in the surface or near the surface. Don't bury the whole thing, just leave about maybe the tip and just make sure that you water after you plant the garlic and when you plant you space them out about five inches apart and that's it as long as the soil is fertile and as long as the soil is loose and well cultivated your garlic will grow nice and it will thrive throughout the winter and even if you don't have winter in your area garlic likes cool weather okay garlic is good for you so I will be planting lots of garlic today some of these garlic are from my in-laws and some are from our garden last year so I'm excited same with planting onions make sure that the soil is loose and well cultivated you can add compost and soil amendments to make the soil fertile for a bigger garlic yield because garlic is a heavy feeder it likes to have lots of fertilizer and compost and humus and when you plant make several rows several narrow rows or furrows to bury the garlic cloves you can also use garden twines to make straighter lines or just make an imaginary line using a stick with the help of the shovel of course and a simple tip to make a bigger garlic harvest or yield is to only plant the bigger cloves because the bigger the cloves, the bigger bulbs or the bigger harvest you'll get later. The smaller the clove, of course, it will have only a short period of time to grow and mature. So the bigger the garlic bulb, the better. And you can plant them about five to six inches apart so it gives room to grow or develop the bulbs and after planting of course water the soil and keep the soil moist you can use uh, tea uh, compost tea or any organic fertilizer after it shows some leaves in about a week the garlic will show some leaves and you can start uh, putting fertilizer, organic fertilizer if you want. And just like onions, garlic also grow well in cool or cold temperature. Uh, they survive even in freezing temperatures as long as you put thick mulch such as grass clippings, pine needles or hay on the garden bed to insulate the base of the garlic plant. Harvest time is uh, when the garlic plant loses most of its leaves or when some of the leaves turn yellowish or brownish. Onion and garlic are actually easy to plant so you can plant even in containers. In tropical climate you can also plant garlic and onions. The average growing time from growing to from planting to harvest is about four to five months. Garlic and onion, they are very easy to grow and they're great to have in the garden. They have strong flavor, but they're great for cooking and they're great as natural remedies because of their antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. So if I can do it, you can do it too. So, but you have to remember that when you uh, are in a colder climate, make sure that you put mulch thick to protect or to insulate the base of the garlic or onion 
so that uh, the bulbs will not be affected and it can grow bigger okay and of course don't forget to put some fertilizer because as I said garlic and onion they are heavy feeder they grow well or they uh, yield better if you put some fertilizer okay I hope you learned something from this video it's nothing special it's just something I want to share something what I've done or have been doing and I hope you can you will do it too if I can do it you can do it too thank you so much for watching see you in my next video happy planting Thank you.